uh, few years ago at Airsoft here, uh, both in Greece where the heavy weapons are and, and also from Romania where we have a strong subsidiary here. We started to thinking which of those approaches fits better for the medium and large enterprises for the at least South European region that we all neighbor. I think we have to do what uh, Stephen Jobs said, which is the best way to to, to do to, to predict to do things for your future for your cooperation in the future. It's to predict it, uh, to predict it and to invent it. And what Malcolm said is to be better prepared. We don't have those billions of dollars that uh, Apple now has, so we cannot invent the future, but we can be better prepared for it. So how? We have seen several approaches and several discussions, especially in the first topic where uh, M-commerce was, was in discussion. And I won't go into details about numbers, but it's a certain fact that some things have changed all these uh, last five years, and it would be radically changed on the next couple of two years, which is something about to do something that has to do with mobility. Uh, not only every pit, uh, the number of five or phones, sorry, is the equal of the number of population, but uh, this year was uh, a, a break-even point between web browsers from the desktop, our PC, our Linux or Mac OS, and the web browser, uh, mobile browsers, which means that 50-50 we surf the web, no matter how, from our mobile gadget, phone, tablet, whatever, rather than our desktop, which means rather than our working hour, which is good for us, the employers, or uh, even in our houses or during our leisure time, we prefer the mobile device or the tablet to do whatever we have to do with the internet rather than the PC or the laptop. And I don't know whether it's bubble or not, and uh, I have seen the 3% uh, raise hands about Facebook. Uh, we know that something is there, we know that as a small a medium enterprise or our customers as medium and large enterprises, they know that something is there. They know that they, we know that we have to do something for that, but we are not neither Coca-Cola or Pepsi or whatever multinational, multi-billionaire company in order to have thousands of people in the marketing department working on this. So, and unfortunately, it's an expensive game. So, about mobile, I think uh, our uh, uh, colleague here gave a, a very, very good uh, focus snapshot of uh, market, both in Romania and in the global trend, so let's skip, skip that to save time. And I want to stay only on this, that the next generation of our, of our customers' customers and our customers would be something mobile. It used to be called that the 2000 generation became more um, um, shoppers, which are more uh, to the web or to the computer rather than to the notebook or to the traditional way of going to the retailer to purchase a blue jean or a shirt or whatever. Uh, okay, now it's more than close for this generation to become our, our next potential target group. And retail is not the only way on how to tackle and attract those uh, boys and girls in order to come into our brand or into our corporation to do their next purchase. And this has nothing to do with the evolution of technology. It, it, it has more behavioral and social and other economic characteristics that are far beyond the scope of this session. So, what at least a typical enterprise or company needs to have presence, not only just one static presence, but continuous presence. That's what uh, uh, he said about a, 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 a substantial amount of focus on Facebook, not just one page, hello, this is Enders of Romania, and one post uh, every now and then. We have the, the, this kind of enterprise, like us, or like you, or like your customers, have to have at least one web something commerce, either it's a catalog site or a corporate site or a product catalog site or even an ESO. It has to have a B2B site because we are not talking 
usually there is not only the enterprise and the retailer, there are the enterprise, the retailer and the wholesaler, the big partners, the, the ones that we do business together rather than just, rather than just sales. So we, this enterprise has to have a B2B channel in order for their partners to contact and cooperate with the enterprise, not only the customers. Very well said before, it has to have some sort of mobile presence. I'm not talking about mobile commerce, I said mobile presence, I think it's expressed like uh, mobile to our code and catalog, and for private checks and selling other stuff. It has to do something with mobile coupons. I'm not talking uh, exactly about the coupons per se, like a 10% discount in the next 15 days when we go to Pizza Hut. But I'm talking about the new way that the coupons will be evolved, starting of, let's say, not officially, but loudly announced by April uh, a few days ago with the official release of iOS 6, where coupons now have a very decent place in our electronic, not wallet, but in our electronic thing, which is called smartphone. And believe me, uh, we will bring it, uh, we will see that the same very, the same very story in 28 of October when Windows Phone 8 will be released and announced by Microsoft. And most likely we will see to combine with mobile payment as well, with special SIM cards in order to have secure uh, visa, to store secure visa and credit cards, credit card other information. So these, the, these three things go together and hopefully this kind of application that are very strongly related to, to the bear, to the one that has the phone, which oh, accidentally we have it almost every hour in our life, in our life together. It would be not only the means of interacting and searching, but also the means of being aware of what's new, or what has arrived, or what is of my interest. And since these devices are location-based aware, because every time this dumb phone knows where I am, and as we see in the next slide, and the coupon know, knows where it has sense to read me that, oh, go there, you have a coupon. Because all we know is that the first step in order to, for a successful stay, uh, sale, either at the retail or at the e-commerce, is to do this, just enter the shop. Then we have a story. And it's up to the retailer to have everything in place or everything tight and beautiful inside organized in store in order when I leave the store to have a hand, both my hands full of bags. Of course, we need desktop because our inter inside users that do purchases for our, from our supplier, China, Germany, wherever, we need some other devices in order for ourselves inside the company to communicate and exchange ideas. We need smartphones to do everyday classical uh, uh, messaging operations, emails, chats, phones, and so on. We also need mobile applications in order to be, why we cannot ask, parenthesis, we cannot ask our customers to be mobile and still expect our employees not to be mobile. Okay, so somehow, somehow we have to equip our employees, executive managers, even just sales or uh, 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 in, any, uh, in any stage of the hierarchy with that kind of information that somehow magically we, we would engage our employee to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And the same applies for executive managers and for specialized personnel that with this traditional okay, uh, having thrown away this traditional way of huge product catalogs that someone has to carry like a heavy lifting to the partners or to other retailers in order to, 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 to express and to explore the potential catalog of what's new to, to buy. So, what is the story? Is that actually we are not talking about a specific piece of software or just how oh, I want the site. Okay, usually we express that kind of feeling and this that kind of interest. But actually, in order to have a, a good story as a, as a retailer with minimum investment, unfortunately, you have to have something from this in all. Otherwise, it's like opening one store leaving other channels or other areas without any of your, of your presence. And in, 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 in this digital area, 
hopefully there, are some, there can be some things that can be integrated. I think it was said at the beginning, but not in this session, but in, in, in the stage floor, that the most expressive and the most precious thing that the corporation has is its content, whether it's the photographs and the images of their products, the comments and the reviews, the descriptions, the alternative descriptions in many languages, so we can raise our expectations to reach customers far beyond Romania, to Bulgaria, to Greece, to wherever. Okay, so I have to maintain this content. And not only that content, also meta content, like, okay, I don't have this product. What else is related to this product? Which is an essential, what are the essentials of that product? I bought a smart TV without buying the HDMI cable. Or I want to press the customer, as we see in Amazon, eBay, you, 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 you are looking at this beautiful TV, okay? You have to think about the home theater, a DVD player or a Blu-ray player even better. So this content has to be maintained inside the system. And not only maintained, the same applies for the processes. I don't want my enterprise to be exposed out there in an, in an, anarchus, an, an in an anarchy and let my sales people or my sales representative do whatever they want because mobile is disconnected and somehow decoupled from the internal processes that apply in the corporation, which after all are, are those processes that have made my company different from your company and that's why the X company is better than Z company. So, we are talking about a multi-channel multi approach and this is at least the correct way to start thinking of it even though at the first steps it's, called, it's, it's reasonable you start with e-commerce, e-commerce with, with Facebook the very good story is to try to find that kind of solution that prevents this content to have it in one place, in one time which is the very expensive, this is the, which is the one that has been maintained every day because new products arrive all other products become obsolete. In, in, we, are in, we are living in a very consuming and fast-moving society where every day, not only in the electronics, imagine the books, the films, the, even in the food industry, every day we see a new label. So how is my audience is going to learn about it? By keeping my content up to date. And the best way to, 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 to minimize, the best way to explore this huge cost, which is the loyalties, it's a, 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 a human resource because you have to have some people to maintain the content, you have to pay photographers, you have to pay marketeers in order to, to make a good look of your products, is to allow many channels to show your product, to promote your product. So it's like actually paying for a film. I pay for a film to, to be created with a director and all that stuff, and the, the actors, and showing this film only in TV. Why? There is the YouTube, what, there is the uh, cinemas, there is the multiplex stores, wherever. So, once I have paid for the film, I have to make sure that this film should be available everywhere at the minimum cost. And this is what is Ethers of about. It's a suite that takes just one place. What is for you your asset, your content, your prices, your photographs? your stock, your inventory, your partners, your customers, and try to reach them in many channels. Let's see a, a, a case for a, for, a, for a web application. You define things in your product. Oh, by the way, it is the same very place where your physical retail with your POS or your ERP client can do real sales transactions. Oh, by the way, it's the same that you do in order to do purchases. So, you have them all in one place, but let the system, the system lets you, because this is the way we designed it, in order to have multiple faces to expose that kind of organization and that kind of information to the web. And it is very convenient because you, we, you can separate whatever is at the presentation level. So, this is the way today I like my store, and tomorrow will be another way. But the content is there, I paid for it and it's there, I created it. So what typical, you all know, if, if you go to a typical site, you will see things like new arrivals and offers, just for today, I think it was mentioned before, but one way to, uh, let's say, press for customers to convert their interest into actual purchases into their basket is to make limited offers, or just for today. 
or to make to make him to make him feel com comfort with popular categories that are very easy to reach and very easy to understand without having to have a PhD degree in order to browse your site, even if it, even if it's one very good. And everything is organized at the, at, at the very center of your system. So you decide any time what things is enough, a new arrival, what organization, no matter what the backend system is organized, you may choose a different way to present your, uh, your content, your treasure to, to the audience. And what you recommend, which we all know that recommendations sometimes are honest, and sometimes are fake based on what we have in stock and we want to get rid of it. Having done all that travel in order to create a D2C site, which is a site meant to be designed for the consumer, maybe it's a good idea to enhance it with some essence of company presence because, okay, we might have the most beautiful Sony and whatever Philips, and I'm not uh, advertising anybody, but I'm not going to buy from you, unless I know who are you. You are a, a store, okay, you are located over there. I can see, I can trust, so I can buy. It doesn't have to do with Visa or credit card. It has to do whether you are able to deliver to the consumer. You have to, to make, uh, imagine someone who is on the click of a button to give you 200 euros for, a, let's say, a Blu-ray player. You have to, your site has to express the same trust that he feels when he's inside your physical retail store. Social media, we will see a few things later on. New arrivals, newsletter, image galleries, content. Content is very vital. You might have the best site ever, I mean, uh, with uh, galleries and features, with marketeers and very good designers with awards, uh, but if the content, is, sorry, sorry, oh, oh. okay, if the content, should the content is poor, then you have nothing. I have seen several sites in my professional and my consumer career, uh, very good in both in terms of software engineering, both in terms of aesthetic and uh, pretty look, uh, look feel, but with poor information. And this led me to Amazon to, to see whether this product is good or not in the area of electronics, or to another site, for example, uh, for, 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 let's say, for sport. <coughs> oh, one thing which is important here, a lot, a lot has been discussed about search optimization and social media. Nobody knows how everything works, because this is the way the system actually do, uh, does and operates. It is a chaotic system, like human societies and uh, human interaction, but still you have to do some work inside, and you can do it without paying thousands of euros or, or dollars to some consultants the experience of which sometimes is questionable. But you can do some things which are standard recipes inside your system in order to at least achieve a degree of a certain quality of your presence and your searchability inside this huge network. Here you can see some case studies from sites. Am I right? Out of time? No. Yes. Ah, am I? Okay. No, you are out of time. Oh, all right. I will close up. <laughs> You can, you, can, you, can browse, you can browse to that address of .eu and you will find plenty of that kind of information. I want just to say one more thing about mobility. Once you have a contact, and if you decide to compare this, to, com to combine this with a physical retail store, then things like that are very, not very possible, but it is the, especially in the tough days of competition, if things like it will help your retail store to be better than the others because your salespeople inside the store are very well equipped with information and arsenal, with tools, in order to better service the customer. In 2012, you cannot sell a TV just by saying it's good and it's cheap. This would be possible in 1980, 1990, 2000, yes, as long as it is uh, Sony, Philips, blah, 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 blah. In nowadays, the, 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 the least experienced salesman and applies to everything, even to textile, is it okay? Is it hygienic? Is it biological? You have to be ready to answer the customer. And how you will do that? By looking at the textbooks, by looking at the packet, PC, and having the customer wait at the front of the screen? No. For, for a few hundred of euros, you can equip 
your saving with the same material, with the same content, real time online, that you have already prepared for everybody else. And if you do it, one minute and I'm closing, and if you do it the right way, then the same content that you want to announce, I have new products, will be just published to the social media of your company. And do you know why you answer, or we all answer, it's not only about you, it's only about us, and especially for Greece. Only 3% of the companies are actually working with social media, because it's expensive. Either you have to employ one or two people to write things manually, or with copy and paste, or, even better, you can have editors of system. Write it in one place, or just having the new items ready, you push the button, publish them to the web, you push the second button and you publish them to the Facebook, to the Twitter, or to other channels inappropriate to the, to the industry that you are working on, like Pinterest, Google Plus, or Google Reader in the book industry. That's why we only use 3%, because if we had tools like that, to automate things, we could easily reach 10%. I won't say 90, I won't say 10, 15. So, with the less effort, we try to give you the tools to do more things. Not all, but more. Okay.